Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Wade, back home in Alabama. Just getting off of work. Um, just wanted to come on, uh, talk to you for a minute here. Um, so the thing we're gonna talk about today, and it's funny because, uh, you know, I'm just getting off of work, but the thing we're gonna talk about today is reliability. I think re being reliable is an important trait in any person. I think if you show yourself reliable, um, you, you know, you can, you know, people, you know, can count on you, you know, when, 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 you know, not only when the stuff hits the fan, but just, you know, on an everyday occasion. And, um, I find that reliability is a, like a lot of things these days, is 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 few and far between. Finding reliable people, I think people are all about themselves, and um, you know, just you know, it's just you just can't find reliable people anymore. Um, uh, as most, as as you may know or may not know, um, I work. You know, I work for the federal government. And it's been my experience working in the federal government on the civil servant service side, at least, um, that the federal government breeds laziness. It breeds laziness. It breeds um, disrespect. It breeds um, micromanagement. It breeds all kinds of things. The federal government is probably one of the... You know, even though the benefits are good, um, as far as the leave, uh, you know, the leave is probably the best benefit you get working for the federal government. Um, but it's it just breed it breeds all those things because the federal government allows people to do pretty much whatever they want to do. Now, I know that doesn't apply to all departments. No, DOD and Homeland Security, they're probably, they probably crack down on folks like that. Um, at least on the civil service side. Um, but, and I apologize for the camera, my stand isn't quite as firm as I'd like it to be. Um, but nevertheless, it, the federal government breeds laziness. And hence, it, hence it, it breeds people who are not reliable because when they do show up, they don't work. And when they don't show up, you know, nobody knows what's going on or they use whatever excuse. They use whatever excuse to, uh, you know, to not come to work for whatever reason that may be. And so I think that, um, you know, being reliable is a good trait. I think being somebody that other people can count on is a good trait. Um, I think, uh, let, me, let me fix this a little bit here. There we go. There we go. And so being, being reliable is a good trait. Being reliable is, um, people, you know, people, you know, you can, you can, you know, I think that's a sign of a good worker is being reliable. And so I think being, having, uh, reliability is, a, is not only a good trait, but it's also, um, something that, uh, you know, is something, you know, that, that people should want to be. Okay. But I found that most people, because people are all about themselves now, they're not about, you know, they're not about helping people. Um, they're about just themselves. And so because they're about themselves, um, you know, it, you're not going to, they're not going to be reliable because they're all about themselves. They're not about the team. They're not about the group. They're only about themselves. And you find that more and more and more. And, um, uh, I've had to put up with it my whole time in civil service, um, that, uh, you know, you don't have to rush, ma'am. Somebody trying to rush to get across the street. Um, and
and you know so being reliable is, an, is, is a good trait and we it's unfortunately hard to find people that are reliable you know they talk one thing when you interview them for a job and then when they get on a job it turns into a whole different animal you know they talk a big game but their word doesn't match their talk so i find most people especially in the federal government are all talk and most of them are don't don't you know don't mean nothing that they say don't do nothing they say they fall into the the typical government system which is laziness and and you know letting other people do all the work and they just draw a paycheck for nothing those are not those are the people you don't want those are the people you don't want to work with those are the people you don't want helping you those are the people that you can't count on and when the stuff hits the fan those are the people you don't want to be around because they ain't going to know what to do. And so, uh, as also being in the military, being reliable is almost, you know, I mean, literally is part of the job because you're, you know, you know your squad members have to rely on everybody. Your platoon members have to rely on everybody. Everybody relies on everybody to do their job. And when the when the bullets start flying, you have to be reliable enough to where they can count on you when the bullets start flying. When st fo folks get hurt or somebody gets shot or whatever it may be. They got to be able to count on you. And that's a that's that's a the backbone of the military is being able to be counted on when when the real stuff happens not just in training not just in the rear not you know just not just in the motor pool or whatever but when the bullets start flying are are your squad mates platoon mates ship mates uh fellow marines uh sailors airmen whatever it may be can they rely on you and if they can't you're ineffective and you'll be pushed out. And that goes for enlisted as well as officers. Okay? And so just as just individually as a person, you gotta not only have a good work ethic, but you gotta be reliable. You gotta be somebody, you gotta be that person that people can count on. But there's a thin line with that because a lot of times people that are reliable get abused. I'm one of those people. They like to abuse because. I know my job, I know it really well, and I know how to do all everybody else's job too, as well as all other areas besides my own. I didn't ask to know all this knowledge, I was pushed to know all this knowledge. And they abuse it. And when it, when it comes down to stuff like that, then you gotta stand up for yourself, it's like, no, I'm not gonna do that no more. There are other people here that can work just like I can and get paid just as much as I do. And so you find that the world is going that way. Not only, not only can they not take accountability for themselves and they push things on other people and blame other people, but they're not, they're not reliable and you can't count on them for nothing. If they can't even take accountability, then you know they're not reliable. You're, you know they're not reliable. So... Being reliable is is, is is not only a trait that you want, but it's, it's hard to find now. Because people don't want to do the work to be a reliable person. People don't want to do the work to be able to be counted on. People don't want to do the things that you need to do to be the person that, pers that not only people can look up to, but can, can count on when they need you. There, there aren't many people like that anymore. And it shows. Look at the government. Look at the world. Look at look at organizations. Everybody is about themselves. They're not about other people. They could care less about other people. They're not a team player. All these things, you know, uh, you know, all, all these things. Are, are, are things that unfortunately you see every day and very, very, very few and far between do you see people that you can count on or are reliable. 
and being reliable, you know, ties into all kinds of things, ties into work ethic, ties into accountability, ties into all these things. And when you're missing one, you're probably missing the others. I would guarantee if you're not a person that's reliable or can be counted on, you probably don't have a good work ethic and you don't and you don't hold yourself accountable for anything. I believe they go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. So I just wanted to come on here this afternoon and just talk about a little bit about being reliable um, because I think it's important. I think it's it's something that is, um, you know, that is uh, that is hard to find, and you you end up, you know, you end up being around a lot of people that aren't reliable and hence they're lazy and hence they don't want to do any work hence they don't want to be accountable and hence you end up doing everything and I think that that's you know that's uh, something that uh, you know that's something that uh, that you know we should want to be we should want to be that person that's looked at that can't be counted on whether it be at work whether it be on uh, in the family, whether it be in the church, whatever setting it may be, you don't want to be that person. That's the person you don't want to be. You want to be somebody who can be counted on. And it doesn't mean you have to be counted on by everybody, but you should be able to be reliable and counted on by somebody. Your spouse, your children, your family, your, your supervisor, leadership, whatever it is, you should want to be somebody that's reliable. That comes through. Not just in the clutch, but just comes through. You know, if you say you're gonna do something, then you need then people are, are expecting you to, to do what you say you're gonna do. That's being reliable. That's being a person of your word and not being a liar. Unfortunately, I run into a lot of people like that. I run into a lot of people like that. They say something, they say one thing. And they don't do it. Then you see them again. They still say the same thing. And they still don't do it. So they're liars. And even if they, even if, even if they don't think themselves liars, or even if they don't intentionally, you know, lie because they, or you know, because they they say they're going to do it. Maybe they have every intention in doing what they say they're going to do for you, but it never comes to fruition. Is that not still lying? Is that is that not being reliable? Is that not a person you can't count on now? Because every time they talk to you, say they're going to do something, or they're going to they're going to have you do this, that, and the other thing, they never come through. That's not reliable. That's not something you can count on. So that's what I'm saying. All these things that I'm talking about, I'm talking from personal experience that I'm still going through to this day. People tell me they're going to do stuff for me all the time and never do it. Never do it. And, and, and now I don't expect anybody to do what they say they're going to do. Almost nobody. About the only people I can rely on is my wife and my children. And that's sad. And there are a few others. But that's sad. And I think, I, I, you know, and that's just and that's just a microcosm of the world at large that we live in. So, you know, be reliable. Be somebody that, you, they, that people can count on. Because in the end, we all want to make a difference. We all want to leave a legacy. We all want to, you know, make an impact. And you can make an impact when you're reliable and when you're somebody that, that can count on. You're somebody that, when you're somebody, people can count on. So let's be reliable. Let's, let's, you know, let's be somebody that people can count on. Because in reality, when you're reliable and you can be counted on, then guess what? Other people will do it for you. Because in reality, what you're doing is you're setting an example. Now, is it always going to happen? No. But you got to continue to set the example, irregardless if other people do it, do it back to you. 
I work hard because it's in me. I was taught to work hard, even though most of my coworkers don't. But I can't get mad. I can get mad, but there's no reason to get mad or stressed out about because they are just being who they are. They're not, they don't work hard. They're lazy. They have a different type of work ethic. I can't push my work ethic on other people as much as I'd love, I'd love to have everybody work as hard as I do. But guess what? It's just not realistic. So you just got, you know, you just got to continue to to be you. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to be lazy because that's not me. And let's be honest, I'd love to be lazy like a lot of my coworkers and do nothing and get paid for it. But that's not in me to do. But unfortunately, it's those lazy people, the unreliable people, the people you can't count on, the ones getting promoted, the ones getting, you know, of better evaluations than the ones who actually do work and can be relied on and can be counted on. Go figure. So this is the world we live in. It's all backwards. But I can't change who I am and I'm not going to for nobody because that's just in me to work. Even if I don't like the job, which I don't, and not for lack of trying to leave either, I yet still work hard. Why? Because the patients deserve me being a hard worker. People that come and see me deserve somebody who works hard. It's not their fault that my that some of my coworkers are lazy and don't work. It's not their fault. Because they expect you to do what you need to do for them. But at the same time, you got to resist the urge to be like other people. Stop conforming, but start transforming. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Well, you can apply that to you as, as an individual person. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renew your mind. Not only be you, but be, be a better version of you. Be constantly improving you by renewing not only your mind, but renewing yourself. That scripture speaks volumes. But you'd be surprised, even the people who call themselves Christians and saints don't apply that scripture. They choose to be conformed and not transformed. Hence the reason why you don't have people that are reliable and that you can count on because they're conforming. Conformists are not reliable and are not people you can count on. Because this world is full of lazy, conformist people who don't want to do things for other people. They just want to do for themselves. my little rant and little talk for today hope y'all enjoy it like subscribe hit the notification leave comments if you're going through something similar or you're or you've been through something or you can relate to this topic leave a comment below tell somebody about it tell somebody about these 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 short vlogs that i'm doing um and, 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 and trying to leave a little bit of a nugget of knowledge on YouTube and uh, anyways that's all I'm going to say on that I um, hope you get something out of it and um, if you did make sure you leave a comment if you can relate make sure you leave a comment love to hear from you and just, just try to do my little part Again, I'm coming from my experience, my opinion. Whether you agree with it or not, that's cool. If you don't, be respectful. Because if you're not, you're not you're, you're, your comment is going to get deleted. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with disrespect. Let's be respectful. Let's agree to disagree. If you don't like the way, you know, I put my, you know, put my opinion and my experience. 
that's okay. Not everybody's going to agree with you. Not everybody's going to feel, uh, not everybody is going to look at things the same way you do. Our the way we look at things and the way we do things a lot of times is shaped by shaped by our environment, how we were raised, how we spent our our, our young adult lives. You know, uh, things we learned when we went to college, things we learned when, if you went in the military, those kind of things. Sometimes, as a kid, you thought one way, and then when you grow up, you think a whole different way. So, not everybody's going to think the same way, and I don't expect everybody to think the same way I do. And that's the whole thing about the podcast, this vlog, this whole YouTube channel. I'm just giving you my opinions, my my experiences, my environment, and if you agree with it, wonderful. If you don't, that's okay too. But maybe something I said you might agree with. And we can, we can hit that kind of common ground and move from there. You know what I'm saying? Human beings are, are, are a wondrous diversity. Uh, you know, a wondrous diversity. And everybody thinks different, differently. Everybody's been through different things. Some people have been through similar things. But for the most part, most of us have all been through different things, different environments, different experiences. All these kind of things. And that's what, that's what makes having conversation wonderful is that not everybody that you talk to agrees with you. Sometimes people don't agree with you. And that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. So let's, let's be transformative. Let's be reliable. Let's be some, somebody somebody can count on. And, and watch how that affects people for the better. All right. We'll talk to you again. God bless you. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.